Heidi ho neighbors, Rado Goji here, and welcome back to Let's Play Mystical Ninja Starring Goemon. When we left off, uh, we were just about to enter the castle, and now we have entered the castle. Transformed Oedo Castle, to be exact. This is our first dungeon in the game, the first of, um, five dungeons. And, uh, we're gonna start off by collecting some money, because money is good to have. I and I've, in fact, I probably should have been collecting more money... Um, like, there were three coins outside the door. Um, I'm not going to be spending too much. Uh, I really don't need the armor. I, uh, in, in many playthroughs that I've done of the game, I've actually gone and uh, collected a lot of the armor. But, um, yeah, this is not freezing. This is just, uh, you know, loading. See, it's fine. But, um, you know, like all the, the most of the other playthroughs I've done in the game, I've mainly just gotten the armor just to have it. But, um, I think for basically what, what, more or less what we're doing, if we get hit a lot, it's not really going to be worth it in the long run. So, I'm going to actually save up the money for much more important things in the game, like plot important stuff that we actually need to spend a lot of money on. Uh, we picked up a silver key here, which will allow us to enter this door. And um, before going this way, we'll go in here. Because these side rooms have a lot of stuff. Usually, um, or these, these doll things are, are pretty much going to be the main bad guys of the game. And there are many variations as, as time goes on that we'll see there are different colored ones that are going to be stronger than others. So the pink ones are the, uh, are the weakest ones. And then we'll, uh, we also have the green ones with the presents that shoot bullets at us. Um, but also there are going to be, like, other ones that'll have more abilities, like jumping at us or going after us with jetpacks, and also um, there are going to be some with the presence that'll shoot like shockwaves of fire at us instead of just bullets. Mr. Elephant, basically the map of the game, uh, like Zelda, like the map, the dungeon maps of Zelda, uh, we can look at a map of the, um, a map of the, of the castle. We can use B and A to swap between floors, and it basically just shows off what places we've already been to. We can also change the uh, and camera angle to see up and see down, and that replaces the uh, the world map. I did I didn't really go over the, uh, the the status screen here. You can basically see the two characters we have, plus we have spots for two more characters. Uh, item one is basically where our fish balls and armor go. Item two is plot important items. And all of the available weapons for each character are in the box next to them. Uh, places where it says magic, each uh, each character will get a special ability uh, that they'll be able to use with the C up button later on in the game. Um, each character also get, only gets um, three uh, three weapons total. So uh, technically, Goemon already has all three of his weapons, which are the the regular pipe. Uh, the ability to throw money as a projectile weapon, as well as um, the chain pipe. But, um, as I said in the last part, every character's primary weapon will get two upgrades in the game, and um, the ability to shoot, the two, going on's ability to launch money, basically, uh, will also be upgraded later. Um, and we'll only use that upgrade maybe twice. <laughs> I should probably kept going on these horseshoe crabs, because they're the way forward. Oh, gotta check off that cat. Forgot to do that. Alrighty. So we have the silver key. We can go in this door here. And uh, from, from what I remember, the... While the uh, dungeons do get longer as time goes on, they're not too bad. I'm still fairly confident that I can beat this game um, by the time I had planned, so... 
at this point four hours. Yeah, I said I said five and a half hours earlier. Really. I, I meant I had meant four and a half hours. I was uh, <laughs> like I said, I meant to do. I meant to actually get started on this early, but I decided to sleep in a bit because um, I don't normally work on Mondays because of D and D. Um, actually, I should go this way first because this is an unlocked door. But um, I'm hoping I'm hoping to get this done before D and D starts today. I probably should have uh, gone ahead and um, waited until tomorrow to do this. But I just got so excited at playing this game. I just I'm like, okay, I'm gonna start at like 9:30 or 10, and I uh, get this done. I ended up not getting up until like 10:30, and uh, I started recording at 11. Uh, so it's 12 now because I did spend a little time setting up, and um, part one was a bit, it went on a bit longer than I thought it was going to, mainly due to the uh, aborted intro that got destroyed by uh, the frame rate slowdown, which I hoped wasn't going to come up in the intro because I really wanted to show off the intro video, but it did. So I didn't. Because, you know, no gold key, by the way. Uh, the the frame rate issues I'm not gonna take too that I'm not gonna take them too much as a, as a big deal with the actual gameplay because I'm so used to how this plays anyway that I can get a, I can get around the the frame rate the slowdown during the actual game it's not a big deal for me I'm I'm you know I've played this so many times I know how to get myself out of sticky situations with this. But the, with the intro, it's not something that could have been helped, and it actually ruined the intro by um, getting it off sync and everything. So I do kind of um, regret that I wasn't able to put up the intro video like I had planned. But that's okay. Oh, and then there's the impact uh, music video. That's probably going to ruin that, too. Apologies to those who really like the Impact theme song. Your uh, music video may be destroyed by frame rate. But again, that's something that you can look up uh, easily on YouTube. So um, you can use those extra music video videos to supplement my LP. Hmm, we're already on the second floor, and the third floor is really, really short. It's just the. Uh, the hallway leading up to the boss. Also, you may have noticed in uh, the, lar the larger room before in the room, the larger room before the room we went got the gold key in. Uh, you may have noticed um, that the uh, blocked off area had a giant pair of legs in it. That's not foreshadowing at all. It's not something I, I really even noticed uh, the first couple times I went through the game, but you know. There's a silver key up here. That's why I did that. I'm mainly doing a lot of this stuff based on instinct and memory, but more often than not, I can't remember a lot of the specifics. And there's a second cat of four that are in the castle. Second cat of three that we're going to be getting before uh, fighting the boss. Though, right after we defeat the boss, we'll be able to get the fourth cat, so... We're not going to be doing too much backtracking into this dungeon. A couple of the other dungeons, though, we will be going into long after we've cleared them. Mainly due to the fact that there's cats in there that we would have to have special abilities to get. Yeah, just <laughs> skipped that part of the um, death trap maze thing. Well, it's not really a maze. But yeah, yeah, I just skipped it, because uh, I'm a badass. And the main thing I'm getting here is this guy, Mr. Arrow. Mr. Arrow is basically the, uh, if, if anything, to be compared to Zelda the Compass of the, um, of the, uh, of the, the Dungeon Compass, which will show you the, uh, the location of the boss. That other door was locked, so we can't go that way, so we're just going to have to go this way. And do be careful here, because if you fall off, uh, you actually have to go start at the uh, beginning of the room again. 
and the uh, the chain pipe is semi homing with the star block, so it will like point you in the direction of the star block. Also, there's a hand here. We'll get to that later. Again, not ominous foreshadowing. <laughs> it's totally ominous foreshadowing. Who am I kidding? I know it, you know it. Let's just, uh, cut the crap. Also, we had those, uh, we had the, uh, the dolls now have, um, light blue dresses. They will, uh, bounce at us. <laughs> I think that's funny when the, um... Sometimes when the music tries to catch up with the frame rate, it'll speed up a bit. <laughs> but seriously, the music in this game is freaking awesome. I love the soundtrack for this game. Love it. Especially when we get to some of the, uh, some of the uh, later, like the late in the game castles. The uh, the, the the dungeon that I showed off on the, the that I specifically showed off on the map screen that didn't look like a dungeon at all. I was just pointing out, yeah, that's a dungeon. That doesn't look like a dungeon. That dungeon has awesome music. Oh my god. Also, there's a body there. It looks like it has samurai armor on. Just you know, throwing that out there. Is there a door door this way? No, but there is a dumpling. I won't say no. Oh, there's a pot here too. And ninja. Ninja robots. Yeah, all, all the all the things I'm fighting here are basically robots. That's why they explode. Mainly going this way for the money. Because we absolutely need the money. Again, not for anything anytime soon, but we are definitely going to need the money. Also, uh, if you fall down this pit here, it basically does like it does in Zelda. It's like, oh, you fell down a pit? Well, you lose a heart. Yeah, extra lives are totally redundant. <laughs> I mean, sure, I have died the first couple times I played the game, but I can clear this game without dying no problem now. So, I was sure I heard something down there. Was it you guys? What the? Well, who in the world are you? <laughs> it's highlighted. My name is Baron. I've come to make Oedo Castle, Oedo Castle a beautiful stage. Stage? What do we need a stage for? Goemon, this smells like danger to me. Why don't we just grab this weirdo by the throat and beat him up a bit? Who are you calling weirdo? That's funny, apparently. Maybe I'll just have to beat you up. I think some of these jokes may have been lost in translation. I don't see why. Who are you calling a weirdo is funny. Sorry, Mr. Ninja Star and Goemon, I just don't. And here's the ominous foreshadowing boss, the giant head. <laughs> A very easy giant head, I may add. He's going to shoot lasers at us from his neck. We can hit his chin, because that's where the um, flashy weak point is, because most bosses have one of those. Once you hit the chin enough, he'll start shooting lasers from his neck. You basically have to hit it enough so that part of his head explodes. Like that. The lasers are easy to avoid, just jump over them. And even while he's attacking and everything, you can still hit the weak point. Keep mashing the B button, and there you go. This boss is very easy. In fact, there's only, like, one boss I can think of that's particularly annoying, and that's the boss in the third dungeon.
Also, if you stand right in front of them there, the flamethrower can't get you. <laughs> Just want to throw that out there. Uh, some of the Goemon Impact bosses do take some getting used to, but, um... Probably shouldn't be standing there, actually, because that's his uh, default laser position that he defaults to. And if the laser goes off right in your face, well, then you get hurt. But I'm fairly sure we've got him at this point. Oh, no, one more. <laughs> Okay, I thought there was more to... Uh, this game is just being silly now. I could have sworn he exploded less times than that. But, you know... It's not like this guy's particularly hard. So I can just, you know, keep whacking at him all day. And there, but now he's finally dead. What is this, you might ask? It's the Miracle Moon, in the shape of the moon. One of the Miracle items, which are the uh, storied MacGuffins for this game. We're safe now, thanks to you. Lord, what has become of Oedo Castle? Suddenly, there was this bright light, and next thing I know, well, look around you. We saw it from, a, from the outside. The whole castle transformed when that, e when that peach beam hit it. I remember that strange man was yelling something like, Instant Stage Beam. Instant... what? That's a strange name. By the, by, by the way, where did that weirdo go? He rushed off in an awful hurry. I've got a favor to ask you. Could you catch the guys that did this to Oedo Castle for me? I beg you. You bet, we won't let you down. We can't let anyone do something like this and get away with it. Good, I knew I could count on you. Oh, I almost forgot. Take this with you. As long as you've got this, you'll be able to open the gate. Go on, and Ibizumaru receive a super pass from the Lord. <laughs> so we can leave town now, basically. Yeah, we'll save. Um, and by leave town, I mean go out that other gate that was being blocked by guards. And uh, we've saved the game <laughs> in our adventure diary. And on that note, I'm going to cut the video here. And uh, when we come back, we're going to stop Baron and those other weirdos from, I guess, using an instant stage beam on stuff. I've been Rado Goji, and I'll be here next time. Join me, won't you?